A couple years ago, I was struggling with self-confidence issues. I remember just even pushing away the plate sometimes because I felt like I should not eat over the fact that I didn't feel comfortable with myself and the way that I looked. I always struggled with um, these self-confidence issues. Even going back and looking at it, I was 13, I'm 15 now, but being so young and being so unhappy really took a toll on my life. Um, I was raised Catholic and I had a friend who came to this church and I remember her telling me, you go to church but you don't know God and he doesn't know you. And that was the point of reveal for me. At first I was like, you're rude, like that's rude. But I realized that she was doing it because she also had self-confidence issues and her self-confidence rocketed after she started coming to church. And so she introduced me to this church and I had doubts because I didn't really feel like this was home for me. And I came to the f a service, a Wednesday service, and that service was great. And I, f I felt the Holy Spirit moving, but I didn't really know what the Holy Spirit was, but I felt it there. And nothing happened that service. I just went home, did my own thing, but I was still struggling with a pain in my ovary. I had an ovarian cyst on my ovary and it was really bad and I remember just crying, screaming. I was on the phone with a friend and I was crying just my eyes out because the pain was so bad and I remember my mom rushing me to the hospital and them telling me that I had an ovarian cyst on one of my ovaries and I remember them hooking me up to IVs and stuff and you know, everything was happening so quick and so fast. And I remember just feeling so overwhelmed. And the pain was just so bad to the point where I could not sleep. And I remember having to take two pills. I had to take 800 milligrams of ibuprofen, which are huge, these like huge nickel-sized pills. And I remember having to take those and the melatonin pill at night to sleep through. And even though I took melatonin, I wouldn't sleep through the night. I remember waking up around three in the morning just from pain. After that, I came to a service on Wednesday and it was a healing service. And I remember they called up for anybody that had pain, anybody who's ever had pain in their ovaries to come up and ask for healing. And I remember my heart was beating so fast and I asked a friend, should I go up there? Should I do this? And she encouraged me. And I went up there and I got prayed for. And at first I didn't feel anything, but then I went home and I slept the whole night through. And I remember my mom asking me, like, she was so surprised, like, you slept, you didn't you didn't wake up. Like, I didn't hear you last night. I was like, cause I didn't wake up, I slept the whole night. And I remember just feeling so blessed and so worthy and so anointed to the point where I felt so happy with my life and I realized that I was getting these signs and different things. I remember coming to a prophetic service in November and Prophet Passion Java's wife, she gave me a word she spoke through to me through God. She told me that this healing is real, that it happened and it's not gonna come back. The pain is not gonna come back and it's gonna stay away. And I remember just being so blessed and so thankful over the fact that I was healed and this actually happened. And I didn't have doubts anymore. Like I knew that this was my spot, this was my place. So I gave my life to Christ uh, a month after that. And I don't regret it one bit. It's the best decision I've ever made in my life. And now I don't struggle with my self-confidence issues. I'm confident in myself. I'm confident enough to even talk to other people that I wouldn't have the confidence to talk to. I'm confident enough to wear things I'd not have the confidence to do. And it just, it's amazing what Christ can do. I'm Elena and this is my testimony.